Station. I'm ready to get on the road. Karen Mead is from Let's Get Organizing here in San Antonio, and you move, you move families, you move businesses, you get people organized. Which we is get a, people yeah, moving. You, That's right. You have a gift. Thank you. And as a person with little people at the house, you know, traveling can be a real nightmare. It can. Traveling is already expensive enough. So what we want to talk about is tips and things to use to keep travel inexpensive while you're getting ready to go. And let's use some things we have at home. Okay, you're headed somewhere for 4th of July, or maybe you're just going to be in the car going to Leon Valley to hang with us. But you got to keep people activated and maybe off the screen. You do. So first, got to start with a packing list. How do we know what to take if we don't have it written down? We only have so much memory up here as we get older, so we need a place to remember <laughs> was what that, to was pack. That, was that an old joke? No, no. What? Thank you, Kim. I'm joking, Karen. <laughs> Like cookie sheets, you can use these. Traveling by car, we can make this a tray. You so can put magnetic letters on here. They can build Legos on here. That is they brilliant can draw and simple. And, and it... use their coloring pads on here. So let's take a cookie sheet that you already have at home instead of buying some fancy desk or tray. Let's use what we already have. And of course, Ziplocs are key to keeping kids organized from everything from crayons to markers, colored pencils, Hot Wheels. You said Legos, and I've had pockets. plenty of those in my foot in the middle uh, of the those night. Hurt. So lock them up, Ziploc Zip bags. Ziploc is a key to sanity for travel. Multi-purpose. For sure. Label maker. Okay, so as a professional organizer, of course we love our label makers. <laughs> so everyone has some kind of a water bottle at the beach. So let's label them so we know whose is whose and we're not accidentally taking some stranger's water bottle from the beach back to our hotel. So let's use our label maker and take care of that for sure. You should buy one of these. I have, I have a few. Well, I was going to say we have one too. I just don't have enough batteries. I need a Ziploc full of batteries. You do. Well, <laughs> but, we can but this, take care of this that. This is great. It's, it's a key. Also, just keeping like things together. I mean, keeping all of our first aid things together, hand wipes, hand sanitizers. Just grouping. Grouping like items together. Here's a perfect thing for travel and doing laundry on the road. We need Tide to go. We need a little uh, wrinkle eraser. And you can find those sample sizes at HEB you or can. any drugstore because they make them small and good to go. For travel. They're already ready. You just fill them with what you need. Now, here is an ideal let's, example. Let's go back oh, sorry. to this, this we're nightmare. talking about the cords. Liars. The chargers, the charging cords. Every family has 300 or more. Do you know what happens in our house? Huh. The kids steal Hours. Yours. And we aren't able to charge stuff. So you use your label maker and you label your cords like I do and mine says Karen. So my children can't use my <laughs> or cord. you put a big lock on your bedroom door. <laughs> or you do that. Or you do that. So taming your cords is super expensive. All right. This is my little girl's uh, <sighs> suitcase. And as you can tell, it is fully loaded. We have the, the American Girl doll with her travel seat on top. Well, American Girl is very important to travel uh, with for any young girl. Kids just start throwing stuff into suitcases. And how do we keep this from being crazy? Kids' ideas of what to take on vacation is a lot different than a parent's. So when you tell your child to go pack, you may get this result. But it's very simple to teach them some things or for mom to do something like take that Ziploc again and already label it before you leave with a Sharpie. It says wet stuff. That's a great idea. So it's already ready to go once you arrive at your destination. Swimming trunks or little Swimming baby trunks. toddler clothes that are done for. This is perfect for kids in camp. Ziploc again. Day one, here's your outfit. Everything from socks to underwear to their outfit, hair accessories, deodorant. You can do one day through seven, each in their own Ziploc. Well, and the and when you pack a suitcase on a road trip, yeah, like we're going to do this summer, right? Yeah, uh, Griswold style, yeah, family Good. truckster. You better have that at the top of the suitcase, so you don't have to haul the whole thing into the hotel. Correct. And sometimes the hotel check-in is later, and you arrive early. So if you have your suit, your swimsuit already ready to go, you open that up, you take your swimsuit in, you change in the bathroom, and you're ready to go swimming before you've even checked in. I could just stand here all day and talk to you about that large wallet that I just. That Large wallet. That, that's just I one know. tip that I hadn't thought of. Unpack your wallet before you go on vacation. Well, our tagline is pare it down. It's a nice way of saying cut the clutter. So let's pare down your everyday wallet. And when you're traveling, let's take a wallet that's a little more slimline and only has the essentials that you really need inside. So fanny packs, yeah, your name. Uh, nay. Okay, she, yeah. she's not she's not into that. No, All right, thank you, no. Karen. We will uh -huh. make sure folks can call you to find out more at 960-0996 and your website, letsgetorganizing.com. I know you've got wheels turning now for everyone. This <laughs> is the lady that can give you some great tips, and we'll put more on salive.com.